Hello everyone, this video I will show you how to use this KCS firmware with our ESP32 board so that you can create the automation on the Tuya application. And the, as the first, let's look at how to use the analog input and uh, the DAC output. Uh, you can see here, that is our A4 board. Actually, you can use the KCS firmware in any of our ESP32 board. Uh, this is a Tuya application that have output input and the analog so that we can monitor and control this really remotely by internet so you can see here i can turn on and turn on and turn off and this really that is remote country and this is the input the input state you can see if you have triangle this in digital input and the triangle this digital input one so that that will be green you can see here and then uh, and the third page that is analog you can see here that is ADC and this is DAC that is for 0 to 5 volt input and the sound channel is for 4 to 20 milliampere so that according to your board as a hardware resource so we can test it uh, such as this A3 and A4 that uh, analog input 3 and analog input 4 that is convert input uh, 0 to 5 volt you can see here that is channel 3 this is channel 4 so here on the PCB board that have 3 volts you can see here we can test it actually you will connect with your sensor analog sensor and uh, this point just for my test you can see here that about uh, 3 volt so we can let this part, I can test it for A3, analog input 3. So you can see if I shot for this 3, you can see here the voltage is monitored 3.2 uh, because have some difference uh, is correct. So this is have monitored the voltage remotely. If I release my cable, you can see the voltage will be changed to zero. So this can remote uh, monitor the analog input. And here you can see that is DAC, that is digital to analog output. That DAC is for zero to 10 volt. So this have two channel DAC that have just this one, uh, DA1 and DA2. So you can see, I can use this mount meter. I can test it. You can see here. You can see I have tested this digital analog output channel 1. So that you can see here. I can change this scores bar. And you can see the voltage is changed. This is 65%. That is the voltage. If I change to 100% 100 uh, almost 10 volt. So this can, according to your finger, you can change the different voltage output. Usually this can use for the dimmer and use for the motor speed change. So this is channel 1 and the channel 2 is thin. So you can very easy to change this different output. Okay, let's look at how to create the automation according to this analog input before we have tested the, uh, the digital input triangle this digital output so this time you can see we can click and the since since mode you can create since mode and the one device state is changed you can see here uh, i have used the a4 board you can choose a4 board this time you can see i can choose this adc3 this is channel 3 of a analog input and here you can see that can input the number that the max is 4095 so you can change this percent that means the range the zero what means zero and this is 4095 that means 5 voltage so if you want uh, make a sense mode when the voltage uh, greater than half of the 5 watts such as the 3, three watts I almost can change to this half of this percent 
and greater than that means greater than and this is equal and this is small and this is large so you can click next and the action just then you can see here I can add the task run the device so such as I can turn on this A4 board relay 1 that relay 1 is the light so I can click let the light is on so I can click save and next and then we can press this save and enable this one and here you can see if the analog 3 is greater than this number and then the relay will be on okay let's test it so let's look at uh, this monitor and connect with this 3 volt okay you can see when the volt is 3 and this this relay is on so that is for automation when this if the analog input the value is high or low or equal so that you can control this relay output for turn on and turn off so this is for uh, automation and uh, set by this two year application now i can turn off okay this is how to use the analog to make the sense mode thanks for watching